a digital platform should start with the core banking engine uh, all those remember i was telling you all those asset heavy uh, coupled uh, tightly coupled application you should start putting those uh, taking it out and slowly building microservice architecture and we will discuss in later on that how technical for technical guys or for even for the business executives that like how is there any way to do that yes there is we will discuss in later slide so first of all for example the gl should be if we comply and apply all the gl uh, Uh, configuration into that microservice. Uh, then they start with Sharia governance framework. Sharia audit logs should be generated. Uh, limit and threshold. User management. Make a checker function. Reporting engine. Um, standing SIs. Uh, uh, you know beneficiary management. For uh, all those uh, API management data. Data store authorization engine. All those will be lying on your core. And this is where the and it it also helps and it also supports the Sharia governance framework uh, regime because. today sharia is not into the core it's more up right on the papers and things like that but when it comes to system it's like a bit of a hassle because it's all manual so we start with that and then out of that we build a esb uh, some people call it esb which is enterprise service bus some people call it business process management i i like to call it as a microservice or orchestration layer which is uh, we where you compose everything and that uh, hey i i need uh, th this time i'm calling uh, reporting engine Uh, uh, along with the user management, uh, along with the limits, uh, so the, we, are, we are composing it on the fly, uh, and then we then on top of it that we have the uh, personalization automation layer, where uh, the account origination, authentication, customer specific authentication, credit decisioning based on the customer, customer pricing engine based on the customer persona, uh, custom business logic based on which from which demographic customer is coming. Is it a micro uh, micro finance customer, a small business customer, is a retail customer, wealth management customer? Then what? How can I how can I request those uh, code to compose whatever I need to compose and then push it to the channels? Now what are those channels? The channels should be agnostic. So now here we don't have any channel silos. We have a layer and then a channel has everything. So channel could be anything, could be web, could be mobile, could be voice, could be chatbot, watch a virtual reality, and then next next time God knows what is coming. And but we will be inshallah ready. So this is how we become a future proof, and uh, uh, you know we are we uh, we uh, we are embracing change. Uh, we are quick. We are adaptable to change in days, inshallah, with very less investment. So and uh, and then you know we have a API connector hooks uh, for other ecosystems also joining. So new payment processor, new. Uh, any 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 new fintech comes in or any new company who is good in ayc kyc bio, biometrics uh, detection they can just connect with us uh, uh, regulatory reporting if you have a vendor who is ready and who does the regulatory reporting much better than us uh, we, they can connect and here we are we now we have uh, uh, you know that uh, now the model is efficient because we don't have to worry about the reporting uh, we all we need to worry is about the data should be here it's properly captured which is beautifully captured and it is being uh, reported to the regulator so no no garbage data or uh, bad data is going to there and then we can have agent management we can uh, we can do collaborate with fintech and this is where you are now growing your you are growing your size uh, now from the uh, upward if you see customer interacting you are delivering you are uh, you know they are you are acquiring from down you what you are doing is that you are now uh, navigating into the territory of others so you are going into haj ministry you are going into halal tourism uh, association business association schools colleges and then you are integrating there and you are also funneling consumer from here and they are also connected to your ecosystem now um, uh, you know your your acquisition it was this now is like going this uh, as we expect so this is what we propose inshallah and then discussion could be at the qa level i'm all almost 40 41 minutes so i'll take you another 10 minutes inshallah we'll try to conclude i'm so sorry for that but i think it's very important so if you recall uh, you know here we were discussing that uh, uh, the how the api and those microservice uh, works and how can i uh, how can i couple it with my legacy infrastructure so here is the answer this is a architecture of a existing active bank in north america uh, and uh, you know i had an uh, opportunity to work Uh, in in the North American company for uh, with Ryan who's our CTO and uh, we saw it uh, in, uh, from you know uh, we saw it in real terms uh, you know so they have legacy infrastructure they it could be a AS400 could be a old uh, old Oracle DB based ledger uh, could be anything what we need to do is start building Microsoft on uh, microservices on it 
and uh, each micro services will be uh, responsible for each uh, function a function could be transactional user preference uh, it could be just a form just push the forms or some data it could be uh, like uh, it could be something like uh, generate uh, electronic statement uh, send sms notification or it could be anything then on top of that we have a reactive payment gateway reactive means that uh, reactive uh, api means uh, uh, it's a api Uh, which is event driven and it requires a uh, very small number of thread so it's not resource intensive so it will just uh, act activate itself when it's needed so it's, uh, it's not consuming a lot of data uh, then we have uh, uh, w- what you call it. then we have uh, we can also leverage on the third party as sir for sir for less uh, you know is based on uh, uh, using combination of uh, aws uh, Uh, lambda uh, kafka kafka is nothing but a stream processing and web activity metric collection system it, lo- it, it do logs aggregation so you can have all the data into it and then you can you know formalize that structure that data much better way uh, you can have a notification connected to it so any any event which is uh, driven from here uh, some transaction happen you can just drive and send the notification and this is happening pretty fast So we'll not go into much technical uh, details, but I'm just what what we are trying to explain you that it's doable, it's achievable, it's not a rocket science, it's not complicated as you thought it was, right? Uh, then inside those those boxes, like microservices, we have those boxes, right? What 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 is inside that box? So as I mentioned, that they are responsible for one task, one functional task. It could be any task. It could be sending SMS, sending email, uh, approving the customer, uh, doing a KYC. So inside that, you know, in the Microsoft Service containers, those are containers, right? A box of e-service. They could be built into any code language you have. So long, long gone those days where we were driving it. You know, you know what? You should just build things on ASP or you should just build on Java. Uh, now we have, we can in the microservice architecture, the team, uh, agile team, a Scrum team can 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 uh, build things uh, and it will just work. and we don't have to worry what technology or database or whatever they have and they are responsible using the dev check off they are responsible for their microservices and they will be improving it they have a target of maintaining this as a owner and then improving it so in that in microsoft architecture for example we have something like a, a, a back pressure which is a, you know if something hangs something is not working then it will detect and it will just destroy the server and then create one because in cloud remember we are not talking about bare metal uh, there is no physical infrastructure but it just like uh, it uh, is like infrastructure on code uh, then we have quality of service implanted there we have traffic management we have brokers uh, we have caching uh, we have uh, circuit breakers uh, we have uh, just to uh, give you example of uh, for example take an example of streaming uh, uh, streaming messages so what are streaming messages uh, they are just uh, real time data uh, for example rather than uh, if you want to verify a customer rather than having a data archive it can just go and check the social profile of the consumer real time and then feed the data in uh, so all that stuff is there uh, back pressure is a lightweight uh, as i was uh, telling you is like a is like a pods uh, we have something called docker and you must have seen this uh, wheel here so most of the people mashallah you might know about docker so it's like containerization and then uh, if the container is not working you destroy and then move on so this is how you scale and the more you scale the more containers you have so so the, so the latency is maintained also so again i don't want to go into much detail we have very less time now uh, almost uh, you know we are more than 45 minutes here so let's quickly see what who the uh, new banks who have uh, you know uh, who have leveraged this sort of digital platform or uh, next digital next generation digital platform where they stand to this today so revolut started something uh, somewhere in january january 2015 just five year down the road they have 6.5 million customer base their valuation is 3.5 million and again what they have done then they, they have uh, uh, taken the best of the technology and they have integrated and then they have their core business uh, model which is based on some ambition some 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 vision they have uh, same goes for n26 started in july 2015 5.3 million customer base valuation 5.5 so inshallah we, there is a, there's a lot there's there's a, there's a lot of benefit uh, Islamic finance learning made simple and memorable.